Yo, what's up guys? The 9 key update from Funky Friday is finally here. We're gonna be going everything in this update here. So, so make sure you guys smack that like so this helps out even more people. Subscribe. Let's get right into it. So what is new as of November 9th? They've added in six, seven, and nine keys. Updated a couple of mods such as adding in versus Shaggy 2.5, Shaggy X Matt, and also Retrospector. Two new animations. They added in a new map, and also, of course, they added in some more arrow skins as well. Here, Ghost Tapping is gonna be added in as well, and a couple of other bug fixes too. So let's check out everything that this update has to offer. First up, we got the cheapest new animation in this update. It's gonna be the Zephyrus Shaggy animation at 900 points. So this is what this animation is gonna look like on idle. You got the half mask going on right here. Left, down, up, and then right as well. Your head actually spins around, which is pretty cool. Here's some gameplay with the animation. Yeah, it looks really cool. For 900 points, I think it's a well-made animation. It's especially cool because his head like spins around a little bit, which is nice. And then our next slightly more expensive animation is going to be Shaggy X Matt. 950 points for this one. And this is what this one looks like on idle. We got Epic Doge Man right here, right next to us as well. Left, down, up, and then right as well. That's pretty cool, man. Here's some gameplay with this one. Yeah, so this is going to be another dual animation if you guys go to the settings right here You guys can go to the secondary character ID name Put in anybody's name that you want from Roblox or their character ID and you'll be able to rap battle along with them We also have a new map background as well, which is going to be the heck map from the Shaggy 2.5 update mod This looks really cool. What a big wall and a big lake of lava, dude. It's pretty insane, man Look at the background too, dude that's absolutely insane renders for the background right there too, bro. With the trajectory of what they're doing with these new map backgrounds, I feel like it's gonna get insane in the future, man. Like, if they keep up with the map backgrounds at this level, we're gonna be seeing some pretty game-breaking map backgrounds in the future, man. So we do have two new arrow skins in this update. We have the Awesome Mania Plox arrows, which are like these kind of like cartoonish arrows. They have a white outline around them, which is pretty nice. And they have also updated a couple of arrow skins to make them wider than usual. So like for our square, for example, right here, they made them wider. They made a wider version of diamond as well. And they also made a wider version of the bar arrow skin and also circular ones. So if you guys want wider arrow skins, you have that as an option too. This is what the Osumania Plox arrows look like as well. They look pretty cool. Um, they might actually work a lot better if you have the underscroll underlay enabled so that we have that black little screen behind the arrows. You're going to be able to see the highlights a lot better. It's going to be a little difficult, especially for me trying to figure out where the highlights and where you have to hold the notes down. But for some people who are used to Osu, these might be a good arrow skin for them. So yes, they have made a complete remake over of the entire arrow customization menu and also keybinds and arrow skins too. You can change arrow skins for each arrow if you really wanted to. They can all be separate and stuff like that. I'm actually going to be doing a separate video later on in the day explaining more in depth about how to customize all these arrow skins and everything like that. So keep in tune for that one. We also do have the new ghost tapping experimental setting as well to go over this is going to be experimental by the way you can enable it by in the settings as well basically what this setting does is you're not going to be losing any points for hitting when there's no notes dropping down so you see right here i'm like spamming right before the notes are dropping down i'm not losing any points this is going to be very useful especially if you're hitting notes randomly here you're not going to be punished for any misses which is going to be really nice and also, there's going to be a lot of people explaining how to enable multi-key mode as well. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick as well. Go to settings, right? The pink gear cog. Go to game modes. You are going to see two modes here. You got the deathmatch mode. Everybody knows about that. Then you can have multi-key game mode. Press this button right here. Make sure it's on green. And let's say, for example, you want to play Astral Calamity. Now yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah. have 
extra difficulties enabled with 7 key, 9 key, and stuff like that showing up here. And I do want to stress this, not both people have to have this setting enabled. One person can have it enabled, and one person will be able to play with multi-keys, while the other person will be playing with 4 keys, so it's pretty nice like that. But do keep in mind, if you have this mode enabled, you are not going to be able to get any win streaks or have any wins counted, so you keep that with a grain of salt. But yeah, that's mainly it for features. I will go over more about the multi-key support and stuff like that in another video. Let's go test out some of the new songs from the update here. Oh man, what am I getting myself into right here, ladies and gentlemen? Nine keys is finally in Funky Friday, bro. And I have no idea what I'm even doing, bro. This is actually ridiculous, man. Honestly, this might be way too many keys for one person to handle, man. Like, that's all I'm gonna say about that, man. It's especially on the insane difficulty and everything like that. This might be way too many keys for one person to handle, bro, but it is pretty insane to see Funky Friday be able to do something like this, man. I don't think any other game has been able to do, like, 9 key support like this, bro. Funky Friday is definitely a first of its kind right here, but here we go, man. <laughs> so many misses, bro! Especially when you're playing with this many keys, you gotta be... You definitely have to be ready for a lot of misses, man. A lot of misses, especially when it comes to these songs right here, dude. Oh my gosh, man. Epic Doge Man in the house as well. If you guys don't know who that is, Mango Pull. You probably see him in the comments down below, knowingly enough, which is pretty cool. There you go, Gladiator. He got it. This guy's got 400 misses at the moment. Oh my god, dude. I mean, honestly, the best way to go about it is to just spam it out, you know what I mean? Especially since you have arrow tapping now, ghost tapping is enabled, which is pretty cool. You, you might be able to like practice up a little bit right before your it's time for your turn. So that's pretty nice, man. I like ghost tapping on that regard. You can practice up a little bit before it's your time. Dude, we're actually not doing like horribly bad though. I'm not gonna lie about that. I thought I was gonna be able to get like easily a thousand misses already, but honestly, we're doing not too bad at the moment, especially against our first opponent too, to be honest here, man. Hopefully I don't jinx myself though. I tend to jinx myself a little bit, especially towards the end. That's where the songs get that's where the songs get a lot more harder, so hopefully that doesn't happen as well, you know what I mean? Yo, we got him on the speakers too, man! Yo, he looks like half Sonic and half Roblox humanoid. I have no idea, bro. That looks like a half Sonic creature right there, though. I'm not gonna lie about that. Dude, I I, I literally have no words for Talladega, bro. I literally have no words for Talladega. All I'm going to say is if Silly Fan is able to full combo Talladega, like, that's gonna be insane right there, bro. Like, that's gonna be crazy. You guys already know we gotta do Final Destination as well here, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Wish me luck here. Oh, man. Here we go, boys. I'm honestly really torturing myself with all these nine key inputs right here, dude. Obviously, you got the God Song right here. Yes, in the back. Light it up. <laughs> Light it up. Oh, my God, bro. Dude, these songs are absolutely insane in the membrane, bro. Like, I... There's nothing much you can talk about. This has got to be the most difficult nine-key song that's ever been made. Especially Funky Friday adding all those caution notes and everything like that. Those caution notes are going to make this song absolutely unplayable, man. I'm really glad they didn't add that in. But imagine if Funky Friday actually did that. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Like, how do you even play this song, bro? We both got over 100 misses, and we haven't even been, like, a one minute into the song yet, bro. How do you even play this song, man? You gotta be a robot to be able to play this song, bro. I'm not even gonna lie about that. Oh my god, dude. I'm honestly really surprised that we actually got a decent lead so far, though. Not gonna lie. I think the only note that I can actually hit pretty well is a diamond note, because it's the only one that's different. Honestly, it's the only one that's different. How is this guy playing? With all circles, bro. Like, how is that guy even doing that? I would never be able to play with all circles like that, dude. That's like playing Funky Friday blind. Like, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference between which side you're playing on. And that does also bring up another possible hint, or maybe a tip as well, if you're playing with multi-key support. Maybe it might be better to have one side. Oh, like, let's say, for example, you're playing with nine keys, right? Maybe have the left four notes a different arrow skin than your right four notes. That might actually be able to help you out a little bit when you're trying to figure out which side and which notes to hit. I think that's gonna be a lot more better. 
because the middle note is the diamond note, right? That that was pretty easy to tell, and that was pretty easy to like figure out when to hit. But the left and the right can be pretty difficult too. You never know, dude. We're actually getting some six in here, man. I'm, that's actually pretty crazy, man. Am I like a hacker or something, dude? <laughs> we actually beat another person like that. It's crazy. Oh, here we go, boys. I told you they were going to add retrospector to Funky Friday, bro. I told you guys. And look at this. Playing fuzzy feeling right here in the game as well. Finally getting out for the nine keys for once, though. Like, I can't imagine playing with seven keys and six keys. Those are going to be a lot more easy than nine keys, but... Going back to the original four keys definitely feels a lot better in my opinion, bro. It feels a lot better, but this one definitely sounds pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie about that. It kind of gives you some really cool vibes from like, you know, from a party or maybe from like a house party or some sorts, you know, from the club as well. But we're actually going up against Chromazen. He is a mod developer as well. Not exactly sure which mod that Chromazen helped to make. But definitely one of the mods I was added to Funky Friday since he does have the game title, which is pretty cool. And you guys already know that mod developers are wicked good at Funky Friday, especially since they never get any freaking misses, man. Look at this guy. He's already got a full combo so far, bro. Even though Fuzzy Feeling might not be a super, super difficult song to play, not going to lie. But it is pretty difficult up there, you know, especially with the chords and everything like that. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. I like this part. This part's pretty nice. It's a nice and easy going song. It's not difficultly charting or anything like that. Unlike most of the songs that we play today. Then again, the nine key songs are like absolutely ridiculous, bro. You know what I mean? They're absolutely ridiculous. But I like the retrospective song. And I can see why a lot of you guys like this mod as well. There's a lot of great songs from this mod, which is pretty cool. That's gonna do it for this update, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Tons of songs to check out in this update, especially for our future stream. Make sure you guys smack that like and subscribe. I do cover every single update. Don't forget to check out the new merch that dropped as well. We will see you guys on the next video.